My fellow Homo sapiens, welcome back to another The Moonlight Nomad video. And today we're going to be reviewing F Assassin's Creed and the five things that I believe are, well, make this game really. Like, this game is so much fun. I'm having such a great time with it at the moment. With, you know, I, I haven't done any Destiny videos in a while, mainly because I haven't really played Destiny in a while due to being busy or playing this, to be honest with you. I'm enjoying this game so much, it's actually really fun. And it just feels a little bit different to the rest of the Assassin's Creed. It just feels bigger and better and and a lot less glitchy if I'm honest. But I don't know what it was like when the first when the game actually came out first. Obviously I've got this game for Christmas, so I'm a bit behind with everyone. And you probably already know a lot more than I do. However, I am still going to talk about this video and the top five things that I enjoy about it and we're going to go from the top. So there is a huge open world map. I've not unlocked all the sectors but I like the fact that the sectors have like levels that you need to be before you can actually do any damage or anything without being killed within like two shots and I like that. I like that you have to be a certain level before you can jump into that area of the map. I mean if you're really good and really stealthy I'm pretty sure you could go through the entire like I like the, the sections of the maps without actually killing anyone but it's a bit risky and as soon as you get spotted that's pretty much instant death do you know what I mean? So it is fun. I like the grind of it if I'm honest because it takes a while to level up. So it's really giving me that sort of urge to do the side quests and get them done and just have a lot of fun with it. Like crafting materials as well, that's another thing that I'm really enjoying. And it's, it's just a good way of also getting XP as well as improving all your equipment and gear and that. So yeah, like it's really fun that, that aspect of it. Now like moving on from there we've got the environment and honestly it's fantastic. Like, and the fact that you can change night to day with just literally a, a hold of the big PS4 button. I don't know what it is for Xbox, but the environment's just so beautiful. Like, I'm a big fan of the Egyptians anyway. Like, I loved it in school. It was one of my favourite subjects. And I just love the culture and all the... It's just the glitz and the gold and the, the brutality of it all as well. Like... You know, you got your slaves and stuff like that. I'm not saying I like slaves. Let's not let's let's not venture down that dark path, shall we? But I'm just saying that like it just feels very authentic with how it is with in the game. Like there is slaves and there is like obviously your your abusive sort of guards and stuff like that that will just pick on the weaker ones. And you've got all your obviously your your animals that will attack you as well. You can tame some of the animals as well, which is actually a really good feature in the game as well. You can only do certain animals though. Like I tried to do it with a hippopotamus and it just did not work. I ended up putting it to sleep and running because there was like three of them around me. So yeah, there like there's certain things like lions and hyenas and stuff like that that will follow you and help you out in battle and stuff like that. And it's just really fun to do that. And yeah, the environment is just... It's just pretty as well, do you know what I mean? It changes as well. And the deserts are really fun. Like, if you stay in the desert too long, you actually start hallucinating, which is obviously a, a realistic f um, sort of feature into the game. Because, you know, if you did venture into the desert with no company, no water, no nothing, stuff like that, you'd start seeing things, start hallucinating, see mirages and stuff like that. So it's, it's actually really, f really cool to just spend a bit of time in the desert, just waiting for the illusions to sort of like drop in and it's just fun to see them so there is that kind of aspect to it as well another core cool feature that they've added into the game is enemy health bars now this is no strange thing they've always had health bars on enemies so you're, you're asking me like what what do you mean health bars what's so different about them they're, they're regular you get them in every game but however like if you aim at an enemy say for the head for instance most of the time 
it, it will tell you how much damage it does if you hit them in the arm or the leg or the body it also tells you how much damage your arrow is actually going to do so this is actually really useful if you're taking down bandit camps especially and other sort of areas as well so if you're just out and about even with animals it does it as well like you'll notice like if you aim at the head it like goes straight to red sometimes depending on obviously the level of the enemy but that's a pretty cool feature because then you know whether to risk firing an arrow whether it's going to be critical or just like you know bounce off them and then you've got to try and take them down quickly before they alert any other enemies around them so there is that kind of strategic sort of like influence into the game and, and that, I think that's a really cool feature into the game because I don't think they've ever had that in any of the other Assassin's Creed and it's actually really useful um, obviously we've got loot and random drops now if you go to reader which is it looks like a little boy but he, he acts like a, a really like adult man he goes ro goes around roaming and stuff like and picking up useful items and stuff like that so it's actually really good to do his he does like daily missions and you have time limits time limits on them so I would highly recommend doing them if you can now he does drop different level ones like yesterday I had I think it was like a level 31 uh, mission to do and obviously it was only a level 28 so anything that I tried to kill would just annihilate me with two shots so I kind of just gave up on that one however I did one today and it was I think it was about level 25 so it was easy enough for me to do but sometimes the loot drops on it are so random like you it's still got the whole like uncommon rare and legendary and the sort of like purple exotic platinum high level stuff so and I got a I actually got a, an armor that makes me look like a mummy it just looks awesome some of the customizations you can do on your weapons and your armor and and even your mount to be honest like you can have different sort of mounts you have camels horses like at the moment because there's a there's like a it's like an easter egg to final fantasy 15 there's a um, mission in it where you have to go to a tomb and unlock it i'll play the video at the end of the well at the end of this video so you know what i'm on about and what kind of loot you can expect to get it's actually really cool it's a nice little like nod towards like Square Enix and stuff like that because obviously they had a Assassin's Creed DLC in Final Fantasy 15 so they've got something in Assassin's Creed as well which is actually a really cool cool mission to do it's very easy but anyway I digress getting back to obviously the loot system and stuff like that and obviously you've got your vendors as well so you can buy like new threads so new like I want to say armor, but it's not really armor. It's more like a garm. Is that is that the right word for it? Like, it's just an outfit. There we go. Outfit. We'll just stick with outfit. We'll go with outfit. 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 But yeah, we'll go with that. And um, obviously, at the blacksmith, you can upgrade any existing weapons that you have already, which is cool. So you don't have to dismantle them the minute you get something better, if you are enjoying what you already have at the same time so like at the moment I'm I think I've got a Reaper it's called which is from like obviously I spent some helix I know very naughty feeding Ubisoft with my own money well more of my own money um, but it's actually really cool and really fun to use and it does have some good perks on it now which is another good thing I like about the game is that it has perks on the weapons and last but not least we've got Senu which is obviously your companion in battle and now what this does is it flies above wherever you need to look basically and it targets enemies and tags them for you so that if you do happen to go to in the bandit camp or you need to track something it has already tagged it for you so it makes it your life a lot easier and you're not having to use your eagle vision to like see what's around the area and tag them that way this way you have a, a much more bird's eye view there's also a perk that will allow Senu to actually help you in battle as well. It'll stun enemies for you. I've just unlocked it, but I've not actually used it yet. But I'm looking forward to seeing how well that goes actually in battle. So that about does it for this video. Obviously, I will be continuing the one a week at the moment. 
although I have some great news coming up soon that some of you probably already know about. However, I'm going to be sharing it with the rest of you in probably a couple of weeks. But it's some big news and it's a big step in the right direction for me, my channel, and obviously you guys at home that love watching my videos or like watching my videos, depending on you know how much you actually enjoy watching my videos. But I do super appreciate all your support and everyone that watches my videos and leaves a like and subscribes and all that jazz. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. I'm going to leave a video at the end for you to watch that mission. And take care, fellow Destiny Seekers.